Welcome to today's Big Brother 18 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Dominic Capello. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. And Dominic wants to know if I was on Big Brother and I had a final two deal, would I vote out that person at final three to ensure victory? That is a wonderful question. Um, hi, baby. <laughs> right now, I would say. Yes, I would vote that person out. I need that money. I want that money. I've been watching this show since the beginning and I want to win it. Um, but then again, like when I spend like 90 whatever days in the house with this person, I have this bond with them, would I be able to cut them loose like that? I don't know because I can be a bit of a softie, but I really want that money. <laughs> so I'm saying yes, I would. Time heals all wounds. Okay, let me know what you guys would do in the comments. And if you want to be house kiss of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. I know that gets really annoying to hear me say over and over again, but we have to say it if we want to keep the show running. Okay, so anyway, yesterday, Frank, Tiffany, and Polly were chatting in the HOH room, and Polly lets us know, as if we didn't know this already, he is really not liking James's teammates. So that's Natalie, Victor, and Bronte. He's like, they're all super fake. I can't stand them. I want to punch them in the face. Polly's been saying that a lot lately. Um, and he's like, I just want to win HOH and put two of those suckers up. And you know, wouldn't that suck if like someone from James's team won? HOH and all of them were safe. Ooh. Yeah, it would suck. But anyway, uh, he's annoyed that they're all on the same team, so that is a possibility. Um, but focusing on this week, they're excited to see the newbies' reactions when Jose goes home on Thursday because it's looking like it's going to be a blind side. <laughs> for real. So Polly also dropped some some knowledge on us all. I thought this was pretty interesting. He says that Jose is not a, ce a celebrity makeup artist. Like yes he may do makeup but not for celebrities because he saw him at the casting call I guess in New York. He was like yeah I emceed the events in New York and Philly so like I freaking saw him there and I know that he's making all this stuff up. First of all, whoa. Second, that seems a little unfair that Polly was like emceeing the casting event and now he's like on the show, but I mean, nepotism. Anyway, <laughs> where am I? Nicole and Jose had an interesting chat in the backyard yesterday by the hammock. So we know that Jose thinks that he's staying and this was kind of hilarious. So Jose is like, oh, Nicole, I've been meaning to talk to you. I'm really close to Victor and Paul, and they both say that you're a cool person. So like, you must be, right? And Nicole's just like, oh, I guess. So then Nicole is like, I only put you up on the block because I heard that you're coming after me. And it's so hilarious because freaking Victor is the one that told her that. And Victor is supposedly one of Jose's best friends, but we know that Victor has the tendency to just spill his guts to Nicole. And I'm pretty sure that Jose does not know that Victor is the one that told her, so it's kind of funny. But anyway, uh, he's like, I get that. I would have done the same thing in your position. It's fine. But moving forward, when I stay in the house and I'm here next week, uh, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't mind working with you. Really? That's like the biggest thing of BS I've ever heard. And Nicole is just like, oh, I feel the same. I'd love to work with you. <laughs> oh my god, it's so ridiculous. So anyway, um, Nicole's like, I just want to remind you that I cannot vote this week, um, but I'm sure everything will go fine. And Jose is like, of course. <laughs> He's confident, as confident as ever. But guess what? Uh, Nicole's idea of everything going fine and Jose's idea of everything going fine do not line up. Nicole is like, yeah, it's going to be fine. Your butt's going to be walking out that door. So I just think it's crazy that Jose is like telling Nicole, like, I'll work with you. Really? You're not even going to be here, bruh. So Zakia, Davon, James, and Tiffany had a strategy chat yesterday in the HOH room. And they're like, okay, first things first, we're voting Jose out this week. We're still good on that. Yes. Next week, 
what's the game plan? So it sounds like James is willing to throw this next HOH competition so that his team will not be immune. Now, of course, there is the chance that somebody from his team could win it for them too, but James is just like, I will not be a part of that. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And it sounds like the next target is gonna be Victor with the possibility of Bronte, if they can't get Victor. They're really not liking Bronte right now. So Day is like, you know what, James, I'm sorry, but <laughs> if I get the chance to choose have-nots, I'm going to have to put your team on it because we need to weaken Victor. And I think it would be really interesting to see Victor on slop because apparently he's eaten up all that food in the house. So he's not going to be happy when he's on slop. Um, it would be interesting to see. So James has really been ramping up the pranks this season. I mean, he's been doing multiple pranks a day. And I think it's really bothering a lot of people. <laughs> Especially the newbies like Victor and Bronte and all them. They're just like, we're so sick of this. Blah. So James put mayo in one of the lotion bottles. And Natalie ended up rubbing it all over herself. It's disgusting. I hate mayonnaise. But she did not even t like take a shower after that. She was like, oh, it smells weird, but I'm going to be so soft tomorrow. <laughs> Ew! They need to move on. There was a real meeting of the minds in the backyard yesterday. We had the revolution, which is Paul, Victor, and Jose, excuse me, meeting up with the spy girls, Natalie, Bronte, and Bridget. So yeah, like I said, real meeting of the minds. So of course, they're talking about how Jose is gonna be staying this week, Bridget's gonna be staying this week. Um, Jose is saying that like he might not get any votes and like Bridget might get two or something like what? So very very confident and they are gonna be shocked on Thursday when they hear those votes. It's gonna be hilarious. Um, so then that aside they started talking crap about the other house guests and it got really ugly and I want to say before we get into this Jose was in this conversation in his dog costume from the Power Veto competition. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I don't know if maybe he had to do some more diary room sessions or maybe he just liked the costume. I don't know. But it gives him like this Scooby-Doo look. But anyway, they were getting really nasty. First of all, they were talking about Michelle and they think that she's dumb. Or Jose was saying that she's dumb. Uh, she's just floating around the house. Um, no, she's definitely in a solid alliance. Definitely on one side. Um... But Natalie was trying to stick up for her. She was like, no, she's actually really smart. She's really intelligent. And Victor was like, is she though? Um, so then Paul said that Michelle looks like Buzz Lightyear without his helmet on. That is so mean. And again, Natalie sticks up for her. She's like, no, I think she's beautiful like a mermaid. That's so nice. I think Natalie is fake sometimes, but I like that she's sticking up for the other girls in the house. I think that's cool of her. Okay, so then they were talking about Tiffany. Um, they were calling her a rat. They're annoyed that she wears sunglasses at night. They think she's like spying on them. Maybe she's just celebrating National Sunglasses Day. That is today, so I just had to get that in there. But anyway, <laughs> Paul was like, I effing hate Tiffany and I wouldn't care if she died right now. Wow, that is really effed up. Wow. Okay. So then I just want to mention the girls were like, whoa, no, like too far. Not cool. So then um, they were talking about Michelle again. And apparently she like passed out during one of the competitions before the feeds came on for the first time. So like we didn't see that, but I think she was just like dehydrated or something. So um, Bridget was like, oh, if she passed out again, I would resuscitate her and then I would shave off her eyebrows. What? Where is this coming from? What the frig? And guess what? 
Guys, Zakia was outside during most of this conversation. She was sitting there with them, just soaking all of this up. So Zakia goes inside, she reports back to Nicole, Davon, and Michelle in the HOH room. She's telling them everything that these weirdos said about them. They are disgusted. Like, seriously, I can't believe they would say those things about, like, Tiffany and Michelle. It's super effed up. Um, so they're like, you know, we can't tell Tiffany these things because she can't handle it. She's going to freak out. Um, and Michelle was like, wow, Bridget should freaking lose her job with the, the comments she made. She shouldn't be a nurse anymore. And I'm just thinking like, oh my God, Michelle is one of those live feedsters that like goes on Twitter and tries to get everyone fired from their jobs. <laughs> I mean, it was messed up that she said that, but come on, you're gonna try and get her fired, really? So I think that was a little over the top. But then um, they started talking some crap about the other side, and Nicole is just like, "Whoa, we need to like not get personal here. Like, let's not sink down to their level." And I'm like, "Yes, Nicole. Yes. Okay." So then there was a little bit more drama last night uh, between Polly and Bronte. Polly is just not happy with her right now. Bronte has been making a bunch of these little jabs at Polly all week, teasing him about being up on the block and like pretending that he's gonna be going home. But last night was like the straw that broke the camel's back because he was making some joke about how like it's not gonna be funny or something when she's up on the block and she's like, oh, well, you won't be here for that. Um, and then, like, all these people were laughing, like, especially Jose, and Polly was pissed. So he was going around talking to everyone, like, I can't believe she said that. Like, this is the kind of stuff that makes me pop off in the real world. <laughs> pop off! So <laughs> he wasn't happy about it. So this morning, Bronte literally pulled Polly aside to talk to him because at first she was like, um, Polly, can I talk to you, please? And he did not want anything to do with her. He did not want to talk to her. So she literally grabbed his hand and dragged him into the living room. Um, so she apologized for teasing him and for that comment, especially last night. She was like, I don't know what it is about you, but you just bring out my sarcastic side and I need to, like, rein it in or whatever because I see that I upset you with what I said. So Polly, of course, he's all talk behind her back saying like I can't believe this blah 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 and then to her face he's like oh no no it's fine it's fine like I didn't care whatever so he's insisting that it's fine it was just bad timing and it was like awkward because people got quiet but then like Jose was laughing and he was pissed about that um and Bronte's like well I feel terrible and you can tease me when I'm on the block so they wrapped that up. Can we wrap this up? All right, so then Frank and Day had an interesting chat today. She's getting really concerned about a couple showmances popping up in their alliance. So first of all, you've got Corey and Nicole who are being very flirty. I'm just thinking like, Nicole, were you there for the goat story? Like freaking turn and run your ass away. <laughs> Seriously though, yes. So then, She's also bringing up something that happened the night before. Polly slept in the HOH room so he could cuddle with Zakia. And guess what? There were four people in the HOH bed. You got Polly and Zakia, you got Devon, and you got Nicole, who's like falling off. Um, so Frank is like, wait, what? He slept up there? But he's like, he's staying cool about it. He's like, it's gonna be all right. When the time comes to get rid of Polly, we will do that. It'll be fine. And Day is just like, I'm totally cool with sticking my neck out for Zakia, but I'm not gonna do that for a showman. So like, they can save that for September. Amen. All right, so they confirm like, yes, Victor is still the next target though. Like, let's be real, we need to get rid of him. All right, so it is Monday, which means we still have a few days left before the eviction, but I don't see these votes changing. Something crazy would have, like, I mean, a freaking meteor would have to hit the earth and kill the dinosaurs again to get these votes to change. <laughs> um, but it looks like Bronte may finally be realizing that they could be in trouble. 
Uh, a few times today, she's expressed some concerns about the vote. She's like, I don't know. It's looking like it could be closer than we're thinking. Um, she's trying to put the pieces together about why Polly was so okay with being nominated by Nicole and he's not pissed at her. Um, so she's like, I think the other side might have some tricks up their sleeves. You think? Yeah. All right. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love. Edit.